Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today I wanted to talk about my winter foot care and footwear kind of routine and how I care for my feet, my paralysed, weird feet. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I have a love-hate relationship with my feet. I think they're quite cute and pretty, but they're annoying and silly at the same time. And I have some problems with my feet because of my paraplegia and circulation and things like that. Um, so I thought I would share with you kind of what I do to help them and keep them in the best condition that I can. Up until a few years ago, I really neglected my feet, um, which is not cool. Probably because I just couldn't bear for them to be touched, I didn't want to look at them and all those kind of things. But I've moved on, I'm past that now, and I think it's really important to look after our bodies the best we can. So, I thought I would show you um, what I wear in winter to keep them warm, uh, which is going to come as no surprise to you because it's all I wear. It's like they're literally surgically attached to my feet. I wear tall Uggs all the time. Um, I know they might not be to everyone's taste. So I thought I would bring you upstairs to show you my one and only Ugg boot collection. I love them because they are so comfortable, they're so easy to wear and put on and they're also really really insulating when I'm out and about and it's like minus one or two I can really tell the difference and they really keep them warm I scotch guard my Ugg boots so that they do stay waterproof as well I always go for the tall ones um, so that they keep my legs as warm as possible so I've got this lovely chocolate pair and I've got this chestnut pair which are looking very very worse for wear <laughs> these are so old i think they're over 10 years old i think i had these before i had daisy oh, crazy daisy you can fold them over to give them um an extra look these ones are my slippers are super old but because i wear them or i used to wear them every single day they really really kind of got worn in i don't know about you but i crawl a lot on the floor to get around easily um, so yeah, my shoes tend to get quite worn out from crawling around. Um, but I have found these to be the best things for my feet. They are so comfortable, they don't rub, they're easy to get on. Recently, um, Sean bought me a pair for Christmas and they were Costco ones. They were a fraction of the price, but I can't tell you how happy I am with them. There is literally no difference. You can see they're a little bit slimmer in the foot, which I really, really like, because sometimes the Ugg boots can make you look a bit duck feet. And these ones have got a little zip on the side, which makes them even easier to get on. And look at that lovely shielding inside, and they're super warm. And honestly, you can't tell the difference between these, apart from looking slightly sim slimmer. It's very hard to tell the difference really, in feel and quality to the um, really expensive Uggs. Those ones are absolutely fantastic and for like 30 quid, <laughs> who's gonna complain? So what do I do to look after my feet? Well, I have to be careful to keep, I know this doesn't really sound very attractive, but we're all friends here. <laughs> I have to be careful to keep athletes foot at bay uh, because my feet don't move. Um, not a lot of air circulates in them. I also wear two pairs of thermal socks in my Ugg boots. Um, and yeah, I thought I would show you my lovely sock drawer, right? Because I change my socks a lot. I have a pair of super duper thick socks. These ones have got Go Glen Coco on from Mean Girls. Our thermal socks as well. And then I wear thinner cotton socks underneath. So I wear two pairs of socks, a thinner pair and a thicker pair over the top. And they are on 24 seven, apart from when I shower or bath. <laughs> so I'm quite mindful of that. One thing I have started to do is get Australian tea tree oil, which is a great antiseptic. It is fantastic for any sort of fungusy, athlete pushy type things, or just keeping it at bay. Um, I put a few drops of this on some cotton wool pads, and then Sean will rub it into my toes and in between my toes and on the nails. What is it, Sean? Australian tea tree. <laughs> <laughs> Australian. It's uh... <laughs> Just tell us what it is, mate. Australian tea tree oil. Uh, 
Do you know what other stuff it's good for? Everything. Mm. Keeps the mozzies off, yeah. Does it? <laughs> if you have watched my um, summer foot care routine, you will know that during the summer months I have shellac painted on my toenails. So if you haven't watched that, go and have a look and find out why I have shellac shellac on my toenails but in the winter I like to have the shellac removed so it gives it my toenails an opportunity to kind of breathe and just get the air to them um, however at the moment I am sporting a little bit of nail varnish because um, my sister and my mum and I we went for a spa day and I just couldn't bear the thought of going to a spa with unpainted toenails never heard of so i do have a little bit of nail varnish on at the moment and um sean and daisy painted that for me <laughs> but yeah that needs to come off to let my toes breathe another thing i use as a preventative method is some sort of powder and um, this is a super absorbent foot powder from boots it's really inexpensive it's really easy to get also use this brand as well my kota which is another one to keep athletes foot at bay and also helps it if you have got it but it's not that strong i would recommend that you go for a powder because you want to absorb any um sweat and also i've tried the sprays before but one you've got to be careful because you may have loss of sensation like me you can't feel if the um, spray is going to burn you um, and also because our feet are paralyzed I can't like open my toes out to get the spray in between the toes and get like an even coverage but if you've got some powder you can just shake it on rub it through the toes and on your feet and you're good to go and it, it makes your feet feel really nice and fresh afterwards as well and nice and um, dry which is what I like. I don't know if anyone else out there has this, but I also have phantom sweaty feet. <laughs> My feet will feel, in, to me, like really icy, icy cold and dripping wet with sweat. This sounds so gross. <laughs> but then when I actually feel them, they do not feel like they feel to my body. Does anyone get that? That is really weird. Okay, and another thing that I use is this, um, I think this is featured in my summer foot care. Um, this is amazing, this is O'Keeffe's for healthy feet. This brand is really, really good. Um, they do hand and body as well. Um, but I've only used their foot one. And it's like a little, a cream that comes like this. It, it, it has no smell at all. It is not greasy, but it is super, super hydrating. And I put that on my um, heels and on my feet as well to keep them nice and moist. And also in the winter months, I put it on my knees and I put it on my elbows and also my hands um, because my hands get super duper dry um, from being out and wheeling and, uh, and doing all of that kind of stuff. But honestly, wake up in the morning and you have got baby soft hats um, and that's great that's available in boots not the cheapest in the world not like gonna break the bank but it's worth spending the extra pounds or dollars and trying this I don't think you'd be disappointed if you gave this a go so that is it for my winter foot care I hope you have found it useful let me know what you do to care for your feet in the winter time if I've missed anything out or I don't know of any tips and tricks then let me know and the others know as well short but sweet video I hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did don't forget feel free to share this video with a friend and I look forward to seeing you in my next one Rub it in. Oh, sorry, I looked at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to use these outtakes, you know. <laughs>